Hey Togglers, welcome. In this video, we'll show you the ins and outs of a Toggle Insight, how to read it, what to focus on, and how to use it for your investments. So here we have Adobe, an American multinational computer software company trading on the NASDAQ exchange. As you can see here, the price is live. On the right side is a menu with all the exciting functions Toggle has to offer. Firstly, the rocket symbol collects all the insights relevant to the asset, so you can clearly see what is driving the asset. A new addition to our insights is the new in news insight, where the system actually scans recent news to predict what might be the effect of that publication on the asset's price. Don't worry, our system was trained using 5 million different news publications. You can also see the new insights on the graph right here, marked with the little newspaper symbol. If you want to specifically dive into toggle insights, just go to the next section. Here we have a preview of the insight, the return, direction, status, number of past occurrences, and hit rate. If you want to shuffle between all the insights, you can just use these arrows below. Additionally, you can choose an insight by clicking on one from the graph. By including the insights on the graph, we wanted to really show you what was driving the price action of an asset in a visual and interactive way. After this, is a familiar site. The system highlights key values for the asset like PE, market cap, EPS forward growth, dividend yield, volume, and so on. To be extra helpful, the little note here tells you about how each value compares to the past. For example, the four PE ratio is about 49 times, which looks expensive relative to the stock's own history. If you want to dive deeper into all the most recent news publications, we've collected that information for you here under news. Lastly, you can see the related assets, related assets column to understand the correlation between assets and what might be the effect on another asset based on a movement in Adobe's price. We've also updated the graph to include emoticons, which are further explained here in the legend. The aim of this was to keep the user updated about insights that were complete, showing you the accuracy of our analysis, and ones that were incomplete, a potential trading opportunity for you. Now, let's dive into an insight. The best place to start analyzing any insight is by reading the initial summary. What is driving the asset as well and what is likely the impact? In this case, Adobe's one month realized volatility reached a recent low of 11.95. And Toggle notes that in the past, low volatility was followed by a rise in Adobe share price. Looking at the summary, History suggests that typically the price rose just shy of 10% over the next three months. Assessing the past performance, it looks like Adobe Insights had an 80.28% hit rate. Basically, over four out of five past episodes resulted in a move up in the price. Toggle makes it easy for you to spot the key bits of the analysis by highlighting them. Here you can see, Toggle analyzed 11 similar occasions in the past where Adobe's one month realized volatility reached a low and what happened after that. The insight received seven out of eight stars, which means it met seven out of our eight conditions. We'll explain this in a minute, but for now, more stars is better. The green line in the chart represents Toggle's median prediction. This means that at least half of the past episodes resulted in Adobe share price reaching this level or higher. The shaded area represents the confidence interval that gives you a sense of how wide the range of those past outcomes were. The gray line is the current price. The red line is meant to serve as a reassessment level. If the price veers so far away from the confidence interval, odds are something else is driving the asset price and you had better reevaluate your position in this stock. The more details is where you can find the why it might move graph. The graph highlights the past episodes Toggle was analyzing in order to generate the projection we just discussed. When and where is Adobe's one month realized volatility hit a low and what happened after that? Finally, we come to the stars, the quality checklist. We test each relationship highlighted by a toggle insight against the following eight conditions. If one of them is not met, then the star is not given. For example, in this insight, one star is missing because this condition has not been triggered across different business cycles. It means the relationship between volatility and Adobe may not be robust across both recessions and expansions. Otherwise, all the other conditions are met. If you want to learn more about what each condition means, 
Just hover over the question mark and you can read about each one. Continuing on, these two graphs show the backtesting returns. In the first graph on the left, it shows how one US dollar would have grown following all the insights previously generated by the system. The aim of this is for the insights to have a high cumulative return and small drawdown. On the right, the scatter plot shows the relationship between what Tong predicted and what actually happened. As you can see, the target return is on the x-axis and the actual return on the y-axis. In a perfect world, there would be a line going across the 45 degree angle if all our target returns were the actual returns. However, in this case, when Toggle predicted a return between 0 to 2.5%, actual returns were anywhere between 5 to 12.5% return. This graph helps compare the risk of losses versus the potential gain. In this case, the risk of losses were lower than the potential gain based on the few negative return instances and more positive return instances reported. And there you go. That's how you analyze the toggle insight. The aim of this information is to help guide you and give you in confidence in your investment decisions. Rather than telling you what to buy or sell, we want to show you what the data is saying. If you want to learn more, you can always go to our help robot at the bottom right of the screen. We'll guide you through the components of a toggle insight and connect you with a member of our team if you have any additional questions. By the way, if you like an insight and want to check it out later, you can always bookmark it and it'll be ready for you under the bookmark filter on the explore page. And that's it. Happy toggling.